Sagittarius. So let's have a look first and foremost at love and see what comes up. This can be for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Okay, love, love. You've got some shake-ups in love, Sagittarius. Could be a wild ride. Um, some things could be a little bit unpredictable here with the Tower card. Um, you know, the Tower card isn't always bad. It can be that something you've been trying to build up or some sort of foundation you've been trying to lay down um, could be delayed or come crashing down. Now, I oftentimes, I, I oftentimes associate the Tower card with fights or arguments. And I feel like that might be the case because of the lightning sign, okay, which can be wrath, okay, it can be fire, it can be something that's directed at something, and it's it's got a lot of power or surge or energy that's drawn to it. So there's something here that's going to require a lot of energy or is going to take a lot of energy from you or from your relationships. Um, it can also be a message of being reckless um, or self-sabotaging or even engaging in risk-taking behavior, whether this is you or whether this is someone else that you're dealing with here, Sagittarius. So the Tower card could show some sort of instability or warning signs that might be coming up around you in your relationships. Look, it might be coming from a fire sign. It might have something to do with the third party. There could be an uh, opportunity for an affair for some of you as well. That might be coming up. So just, you know, think about what you're doing here. Uh, but look, the High Priestess is here, which shows news, revelations, and uncovering something, okay? This could be a period where secrets are exposed in love. It's interesting that you have that storm. This is the eye of the storm here. And then you've got the rainbow, um, you know, and the storm can be pictured with the Three of Swords here. So I feel like whatever it is that you're going to encounter, if it's a breakup, if it's a fight, if it's a disconnection, if it's an electric... Uh, connection if it's an affair whatever it is that you're encounter you'll encounter that's um, somewhat hard or engaging or demanding I feel like you're going to come through it uh, um, come out the other side he said so I feel like resolution is also on the cards uh, for you in the cards I should say for you for this month but there is a news or an announcement okay and it could be pregnancy news for some of you if it's not pregnancy news, it's something important that's going to be communicated. And I sort of touched on that with the Queen of Swords here. She holds the Torah in her hand. So there's obviously something of value or something, some words or communication that's going to come to mean a lot or is actually going to make sense of a bigger picture here. Um, there could be a lot of excitement happening in relationships because the King of Wands is here. Now, this could be you. But the King of Wands isn't always a person or an energy that wants to just settle, okay? The King of Wands has a lot to see and do and experience before he gets to the stage where he finds that ultimate stability. So I feel like there's a lot of buzzed energy or there's a lot of hyperactivity happening around relationships or feelings at least. Passions of lust and infatuation and, and, and that sort of physical chemistry could really be primary. That could be a focus, okay? Um, not so much things that are uh, too deep. You might be avoiding those. You might be thinking about them, and the cards would indicate that that's the case, that either someone's really considering something like that with you. But the Seven of Pentacles is deep contemplation about a matter. There's something that you need to talk about to someone um, it could be a situation, it could be a friend, it could be a parent, it could be a lover, a sibling, a partner, but there's something that needs to be aired out here um, because you need to find the balance. You've got the scales here. And the Six of Pentacles can often be that one, some things are one-sided. Some of you are entering a one-sided relationship or a connection is becoming more one-sided. Someone is perhaps putting in more effort, more energy, more love, or investing more of themselves, of their resources, of their time, energy, effort into a connection. Okay, there's someone here that's doing more of the work than others. There might also be a situation here where someone's pleading or begging to be with you. You might also be the one that's pleading and begging here as well, Sagittarius. But it's someone that has the upper hand and the other doesn't. Someone might be in a position of power, uh, of jurisdiction, of autonomy, have more reign in a relationship, perhaps have more control, and you will see that distinction. That is going to become evident. Something might happen. Um, someone might do something. Someone might not do something or not say something because 
it's going to be it's going to be clear as day where they stand Sagittarius this is going to show you a lot about them who they are what they're doing why they're doing the things they're doing what is the reasoning behind it all of these things will become clear as day Um, and I don't know if it's got anything to do with this, whatever it is, it's going to be exposed. But I have a feeling some things are just meant to be this month. Okay, Aquarius, the high priestess is here. She's the prophetess. She's the seer. Um, she's that oracle goddess. And she has something to reveal to you, something that was bound to come to you. And it's not something you could have avoided. We can't avoid those tower moments. They need to happen. Sometimes they happen and they bring us on different paths. Sometimes they happen because they show us something that we were blinded to see or that we, we, we had chosen not to see. Either way, something like this could be coming up around you in regards to love. Let's move on, however, and have a look at your career, your finances, and see what sort of pops up for you here, Sagittarius, in regards to those uh, areas of your life. Okay, there's definitely an important meeting or interview that's taking place um, with the six of cups here again the home and the family family businesses working from home ideas to start working from home um, basing yourself get creating a home office all of these are possibilities in regards to career and money making opportunities but the six of cups is an important meeting or a place of learning or education it's something that you might be absorbing or learning or um, mastering uh, during this month. It could be going back to school, earning your master's, going to college, um, learning a new skill, implementing a new software in the workplace, a new program that you might have to learn. Um, but there's educational opportunities or opportunities to grow. For some of you, if you're being handed a new job, if there's a new opportunity that's coming your way, um, you'll be able to negotiate working conditions, pay, incentives, bonuses, and tools of trade. There's also a possibility here that um, if you are entering a new company or a new role, they're very much wanting you to grow internally. So it could be a company or a business that absolutely encourages internal growth and promotions. So if you are in a new industry where you're wanting to move up or in a company where you want to move up, I feel like the possibility of that happening is quite high. Um, there's also more money coming in. Okay, Queen of Pentacles is here. She can represent a large asset, a new office, um, a new company car. She can represent more money. She can represent laying down roots or becoming more established in a company, maybe transitioning into a senior role, into a more experienced role. And there could definitely be um, opportunities to negotiate pay or maybe promotions here as well um, for some of you. For others, if there's a situation, if there's a romantic situation happening in the workplace, Sag, um, be careful, okay, because that might get out to other people and it might become somewhat scandalous. Um, things could be up in the air, okay. Might be waiting for some sort of response from someone, from a client, from an employer, from an employee, and things might be a little bit up in the air. You will find a conclusion or a resolution, again, the options that will be available to you seem to be quite good um, you have a lot you can filter through you have a lot you can choose from so there's always going to be an option for you to rectify whatever issue this is that's happening around you here um, but the seven of cups isn't always seen as scattered energy in fact it is um, water energy and i feel for the most part it can symbolize creativity so some of you might be inspired and have a lot of ideas that are coming to you and ideas that you'll want to implement. Um, but be careful not to overwhelm yourself because you could be getting quite a heavy workload, um, judging by the Ten of Wands present in the cards, which could indicate this heaviness, a lot of tasks, things that are outstanding, things that need to be achieved. Um, so that is coming up. So I feel like that fast paced energy could be happening more around your career and creative pursuits more than anything else. But there's something for some of you that's going to become too heavy 
or too much. You might need to pass the torch. You might need to put your responsibilities, your rules, your duties in someone else's hands. Or you might be discussing things with management, with your colleagues, with your acquaintances, with your team for, 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 the, for essentially for you to lighten the load that may fall upon your shoulders um, in regards to work. Could also be past ideas coming back in with the six of cups past employees past bosses past ideas things that are coming to you um, from the past could also be a, uh, a card of fulfilling childhood dreams you had divine intervention being offered from all angles um, so pay attention as i said to to what's being offered to you because i feel like it's quite auspicious there's something quite significant a lot of you might be visiting a lot of foreign places, very elaborate buildings, meeting with people of different kinds of um, roles, responsibilities. Here we have the artisan. We've got the religious man, the layman, the monk. We have the court gesture, the entertainer, the fool. So there's really three very different occupations, three very different industries that might be tied into each other or three very different components of something that you might be working on. Uh, during this month okay so it does bring variety but it's also a card of negotiation um, someone might be trying to really bargain or negotiate with you um, or again could be you Sagittarius you might be negotiating or trying to reason or trying to link up very you know or trying to connect people from very different um, industries or backgrounds and trying to come together and it could even be like a collaborative project which could prove to be quite um, lucrative and I did mention probably working from home or extracurricular activity um, to generate you know um, progress in your creative pursuits to generate more money whatever the aim is here Sagittarius these are all possibilities um, for you in your career and creative pursuits in the month so I do hope it's given you a little bit more insight into, in the, into the potential situation and we shall be connecting very, very soon. So take care everyone and bye for now.